Oh, bro, that blimp. That blimp. Oh, sweep! Wait! Back, ladies and gentle fingers. With the OP match of the day in the EW tournament, we got Tribe Gaming versus Marcos Gaming and Rakiris coming in with a little spell soup action to kick things off. Gets one scatter shot, gets two scatter shots, gets the clan castle building as well. Look at that value. Queen over on the top side of the base to walk to the right, king to walk left. Wall breaker way over at 10 o'clock for the king. Couple balloons and a wizard to help funnel the queen toward the town hall chamber. Okie dokie. Royal champion probably going to go behind the king at some point in the near future. There she goes. Ooh, it looks like we actually want her to go take out these inferno towers. Invis the queen just before her ability goes off. She's got to deal with some of these skellies. We're going to freeze up these expos. Get ready to pop queen ability as soon as she activates the town hall. We're going to freeze as well so the RC doesn't take as much damage from the Giga Inferno. RC got the left multi. She doesn't get the expo or the single. Is it enough value? We'll see. There we go with the Stone Slammer to go clear a little bit of the middle. Okay. And the Ice Hound Lalo starting from the left side of the base. There we go. Gonna try to use the warden all the way down on the bottom side so we can easily get headhunters going to the queen. No, he uses warden at eight o'clock. Interesting. Ice Hound freezes the eagle right there. We had a dragon rider come out of that CC. Gotta be patient with these headhunters though. Double seeking air mine hits that ice hound. He's gonna freeze up the enemy queen. That actually helps a little bit. We can send headhunters from the south side now. Yep, there they go. Headhunters are in. Be patient with this warden ability. Might need it because of the giant bombs. No, we don't need it. Okay, good. We can save the Warren ability for a long time. There's a Troll Tesla at three. Nice spotters. Fluxy's probably screaming in his ear about the Troll Tesla. Last couple balloons in at three o'clock. Still has that Warren ability. Pops it right there. Haste the balloons into the final section. It should be wrecked. Should be wrecked. The balloons split. Just enough on the right to take out the air defense. Just enough on the left to get the Inferno Tower. The Dragon Rider even stays alive with one HP. How about that? And he's got plenty of time for clean up. Beautiful attack from Rikiris to kick things off in this match against Marcos Gaming with the spell soup lalo. He's able to get it done. Absolutely crush the base. 22 seconds as most of the troops go down south. Just enough minions on the top side to help take. Why is that archer shooting a wall when she can literally like walk right there and shoot this? Bro, the AI is so bad, lol. But it's a triple. Alfonso is in with the first attack for Marcos Game and coming in with Queen Charge. Oh, gratis, some bacon action. Oh gosh. Rocket balloons, were they meant to get the air defense? I hope not, because the Tesla farm ruined that plan. Yeti bomb for the Inferno Tower, okay. Pops in the correct compartment, barely on the right side of the wall. Tell me the Yetis get the Inferno. They do, perfect. DC troops gonna go for the queen. She can take her time, fight those. We're gonna charge the town hall. Couple hog riders to finish off the archer tower. Poison spell is in. Queen is doing okay. We got an archer to help take care of some of the pups. Coco loon. There's a lot of balloons after that. King already deployed to go take out the eagle artillery. Queen perfectly walk inside. Yes, she does. She'll take out the storage. She'll take out the builder hut. Then she should go for the air defense in the town hall. King will get this eagle artillery. We rage the queen. Eagle locks onto the queen. It'll get a couple shots off before King takes it out. Can King take out the RC as well? That would help a ton. Here we go with Hogs and Royal Champion into the Tesla farm. Where's the warden? Need to drop the warden right away to help. Okay, there we go. We rage, we pop Warren ability. He missed a lot of hogs with that Warren ability though. All the hogs on the left that he missed, they die. Queen on the right, still getting some good value. King did not take out the enemy RC, but he did damage her quite a bit. That heal spell. Woo, get in the heal, hoggies, get in the heal. 
Finally, they can start taking advantage of that. RC goes up. She'll take out the Warden Tower. We freeze the multi on the left. RC should be able to clear the core multi. We freeze on the left again, but the hogs are thinning out like crazy. Queen pops her ability to take out the enemy RC. Scattershot locks onto healers. We raise the Royal Champion. Invis the Royal Champion as well. Balloons on the cannon. It's going to be enough. RC is low. The owl almost took out that multi. Oh, dude, I think it's barely not going to be enough. It's so close, though. Oh, that multi's low, too. But it's going to kill all the balloons. And it's going to kill the queen. Bro, it's so close. Rip. I think if he pops that Warren ability like one or two seconds earlier, this is a triple. Ooh. Bro, the multi. Such low HP, but it saves the base. Wow. One little archer at three o'clock. Not going to have enough time to get much either. Going to fall short here at 93%. Nice try, but early lead for tribe in this match. Ronos is in with the second attack for Tribe Gaming. Coming in with a little more Queen Charge, Lalo. Okay. Queen on the south side. Looks like we're gonna try to get her in toward the scatter shot. Sneaky Goblin on the bottom to help funnel. Healers on the Queen. Bunch of balloons to distract the air defense for a couple seconds. Teslas are popping. Skelly traps are popping as well. We're gonna have to rage the Queen pretty early here. Here's the first rage on the Queen. More skelly traps. All five Teslas are here. Oh man. That poor unicorn's gonna die early to splash damage. Rip. Ooh, that unicorn hanging on. Barely. Queen goes inside, unicorn dies. We get the bomb tower. Gonna have to rage a second time to get through the scatter shot and the enemy royal champion. Yep, there goes the rage. Oh, oh gosh. Ooh. Ooh, she's okay. She low low, but she okay. We get through the cannon. We get through the expo. King on the right with the wall breaker, with the Valkyrie, with the wizard to help funnel. Sure. We got a jump spell to get Queen toward the town hall, it looks like. Cool. Here comes CC troops, so we raise the Queen again. Drop the poison spell. King, RC, gonna be able to fight this enemy King. The stone slammer, I think, is meant to go toward the core multi. Did he drop it too early? No, I think he's all right. That should go take out the core. RC's gonna go up toward the other multi. And we're gonna Lalo from the top side and Queen's meant to go take out the town hall. Coolio. Here we go with the Lalo. Headhunters are in. We're just gonna pop Warden ability right away. Or not. We freeze instead. Headhunters are safe for now. Rage the Queen. She'll get through the Builder Hut. She'll get through the Warden Tower. Gotta be careful with the single target in front of the tower. There goes the first freeze. Dragon Rider from the core is still alive, helping the queen out. How about that? We got one more invis, but that's it. Now we need to make sure this Giga Bomb and Giga Inferno isn't going to kill all of our balloons. So we pop the queen ability to take the town hall down before the balloons get there. I think that was the right call. We still have Warden ability as well. All the balloons can go up, dodge the Giga Poison. We pop Warden ability. Queen is still alive. She gets the mortar. We got an invisibility spell that we don't even need. It's a three star. All day long for Kronos. We swag that invis all over the clan castle building. 30 seconds to go. King is still alive. Jeez. It's crushed. So many balloons live to tell the tale. Queen, charge, Lalo absolutely smashed that base. Marcos Gaming are in with their next attack. Some more Lalo action for us here today. Six lightnings and an earthquake. Okay. Balloons to take out the archer tower. More balloons to get the Tesla. Her. Archer at three o'clock. Okay. King on the top side. Bowler bounce funnel at twelve. Ice golem. Lots of skelly traps. Ice golem hits a spring trap right away. That's why I don't generally like seeing ice golems go at first into those corner compartments. Half the time they hit a spring trap right away. For real. Three giants would probably be better value. King RC headhunter on the top side. We're gonna take out that enemy archer queen. Take out the scatter shot. Oh, she switches targets. Pop her ability though, and she will get the scatter. Poison spell was late, not gonna lie. 
And Hunter, stay alive through that first poison. That's not good news. We're gonna have to invest a freeze because of that. And he has to drop the second poison right away. Oof, getting a little wonky now. We need to keep her ability intact to get the town hall. And I don't know if he's gonna be able to. No, I don't think so. We invis. Oh, this is getting really spicy. The eagle's awake too. And it's targeting a balloon instead of the archer queen. Bro, that eagle AI is so unpredictable. Now it locks onto the queen. She's gonna have to go to ability. Bro, you better not let her die through. And then it switches to the balloon? Oh, she's gonna go outside. No, she's not. Oh, that's lucky. Ooh, dragon riders from the left. Here comes the little mini Lalo as well. Queen gets the town hall. He kind of got lucky with that bad eagle AI. Not gonna lie. Stone slammer on the top side. Gonna help take out that top multi compartment. We pop war and ability. He doesn't have a lot of spells for the Lalo other than this rage. That he rages the headhunters, but they, well, it kind of works. They get through the uh, royal champion. Queen's still alive somehow. The Lalo really fizzled out fast. Dragon Riders are still alive though. Can Queen stay up? He's so low. He goes down. Rip. Warden and Owl. They're not going to be able to make it through these defenses. Rip. Nice try to Marcos Gaming on this attack, but it's not going to work. How much more percent can he get? Minions on the bottom, minions on the top. Able to grab a couple more buildings. Where did he drop that wizard? For the barracks? Does it work? No. Rip. 84. He gets that pet house. And he should. 84% attack. Nice try, but still not going to work out. And Tribe Gaming with a nice big lead. Six stars to four now. The Brax! is in with some super dragon action with a golem okay. three invisibilities and a clone we got some balloons for the cannon on the right side queen king up on the top looks like we want king to go in toward the eagle artillery <clears throat> queen will walk to the right King, Headhunter will take out the enemy king. Golem with the queen. Nice. He's doing like surgical super drags, which usually scares me. Typically, the more you spam with the spam attack, the better it is. If you try to get too surgical with these spam attacks, sometimes it just doesn't work as well. I think it's nice to have the synergy of the dragons and the heroes moving at the same time. When you do it like this, the king's already dead. And you don't have that synergy. Defenses can actually focus on one thing at a time. We pop Warden ability. Battle Blimp for the Town Hall. I think it's Super Minions. Bone Spell. Super Minions. Invis. Rage. Down goes the Town Hall. His Queen's already dead. Invis again. Can they get the Inferno Tower? Yes, they will. Super Drag's on the left. Still alive. Super Drag's on the top. Still alive. Did he even lose a Super Drag? I don't think so. The super drags are still super tanky, dude. Now he needs to clear that CC building because there might be a hound in there. And he doesn't. Well, that's awkward. That's awkward. Where do you send the Royal Champion when she's going to end up pulling a hound? He sends her from the right side. Okay. Three super drags on the bottom side are still healthy, though. Only sketchy part is if a hound comes out here, but I think he still is looking strong. These super drags can kill everything, even if there is a hound. We rage those dragons, pop the RC ability. Here comes the hound, but there's no defenses left. The base is wrecked, dude. Super dragons are still super strong. If you use them correctly, I guess. We poison. We freeze for fun. Archer and Sneaky on the right, cleaning up the last couple buildings, and that's a three star. All day long, tribe are three. For three. How about that? Marcos Gaiman are in. They have to start three star. And if they want a chance in this match. In fact they have to triple out. And let's see if they can do it. A little more. Air. Troop. Action here. Dragons. Dragon riders. Battle blimp for the town hall. Here we go. Rage. Early warden ability. Queen walking six to the left. 
Okie dokie. Clone spell, rage. We'll take out that town hall. Poison for the super minions. Rage and freeze going into the core. Sneak king out in front of the queen on the left. Can we get them to go inside for the scatter shot? That would help out a ton. Dragons in the core are still pushing, getting some decent value. We're gonna freeze up that single. That freeze is only worth it if the dragon gets the single, so now we're gonna have to freeze a second time. Otherwise, that first freeze was a waste. Oh, oh well. RC's in on the left to help the heroes push through. I think we're still looking decent. We got one more freeze to use. We can save it for the Royal Champion. Queen still has her ability. Unicorn keeping her at full health. Plenty of time on the clock. RC will get the build a hut. King's still alive. Tanking a little bit for the RC. That's looking good. We decide to freeze the air defense. To keep one Dragon Rider alive instead of saving the freeze for the single? Oh, the single drops to the RC ability. Okay, I guess that worked out well. I forgot the single was low. RC gets the Archer Tower and that's a clapped base. Finally, Marco's Gaming on the board with a three star. How about that? They still have a chance in this match, but they have to get defenses with the rest of their bases and triple out. Exocyst is in with some more Queen Charge Lalo action. We start the Queen on the top right side of the base. King at 12 o'clock to go in toward the Eagle Artillery. Okay. King will take out that Eagle. It'd be nice if he gets the ground bow as well. Queen gonna walk to the right. Do we expect her to go into that little tiny channel? I think so. I think so. Flame Flinger to help her out. Headhunter to get her through the king. Nicely done. We don't even have to use any spells just yet. Queen will step inside. Go toward the Archer Queen. We rage. Okay. Flame Flinger on the right should eventually get that scatter shot. Queen will make her way in toward the core multi. CC troops are going to the king. Ooh, better hope the scatter shot doesn't end up locking onto healers. We got rocket balloons for the mortar. They also get the archer tower. That's nice. Rage the queen. Poison. Nice. Scatter shot does not hit healers. That's good news. Flame flinger can finish it off. Flame flinger some getting some really good value now. Still moving through. Can get the expo as well. Queen clearing the entire core. Are we gonna? I think we're gonna have to lolo from the bottom side, right? Probably. We can't really risk finishing on the town hall. Here, well. I mean, he could, but I think his plan is to Lalo from the bottom side. We pop the Flame Flinger because we're trying to get rid of that air defense. Rage up the Queen again, and here we go with the Lalo. Warden with the balloons. We pop that Queen ability. She takes out the enemy Royal Champion, gets the back end Wizard Tower. We start freezing up the Town Hall. Queen, which way is she going? She's going to die. Freeze the Town Hall one more time, or nope, just pop Warren Ability. Rage. Warren Ability popped. Did he invis the Queen? He did. He trying to swag RC? <laughs> RC from the top side with an Ice Golem out in front. The healer moves across the map, distracts the scatter shot a little bit. Skelly Trap's there, that could be annoying. What is Warden doing? He's staying with the bottom group. Might need to freeze that multi, and we do. Warden barely stays alive. RC pops her ability. He'll get the scatter shot. One more freeze, and he's got it. Woo! A little, a little close at the end, but eh, not that close. He still has a Royal Champion with plenty of HP. It's a triple all day long. Nice plan from Excosis. Gonna be able to get it done. Plenty of time to spare. And Tribe Gaming are four for four. Makos Gaming in with their fourth attack. Their fourth or fifth? I don't know. The next attack, at least. Queen charge Lalo with a jump. With the log launcher currently activated. Okay. Okay. Queen on this bottom side. Which way do we expect her to walk? In toward the scatter shot, it looks like. Oh, excuse my yawn. That was a swag invis. Rip. Queen, we rage her up. Scatter shot's still gonna force ability. Oh, yikes, the rage was late. Wall break in toward the eagle. Queen will take out the army camp. Baby dragon to help funnel. 
Sneaky Goblin. King. Archer. Ice Golem. Log Launcher. Warden. Rage the Queen again. Okie dokie. Log Launcher should get us all the way through the core. He's got the jump spell for Queen to get to the town. Ha oh, skip, skip. He's got the jump spell for the King to get somewhere. Healers are switching. Log Launcher taking out the core multi. Royal Champion. Did we use her? No. There's the jumping spell. Yetis are in to help the King. We rage. We already popped a Warden ability earlier. King's gonna get distracted by the Queen though. We got Barbarians in the Tornado Trap. We're gonna lolo through the Town Hall with the Royal Champion. Rage. Freeze. I mean, it was a good freeze. Down goes the Town Hall. Down goes the single Gigabomb explodes and kind of wipes everybody out. RC has her ability, but it's gonna fall short here. Giga Poison's gonna wreck her while the Lava Hound distracts. Seeking air mines, taking out the balloons. Wizard Tower will finish the rest of them. Tesla farm on the top side, and we're not even gonna make it over there. Rip. Nice try, but he just wasn't able to keep that queen alive. Wall breaker on the top side, a couple of headhunters to try and get some extra buildings, but the lava hound's gonna get there and distract them. What can he get? 76. If the minions get that gold storage, which I think they do for 76, okay. 76%, nice try, but not good enough. Let's see if Tribe are going to be able to get the perfect war today here with their next attack. Fluxy is in with a Yeti Bomb on the bottom side of the base. Okay. Queen Charge Dragon Riders. Headhunter's going straight for that queen, but she snipes him. Nice. Can Tribe get the perfect war? Let's see. <clears throat> Queen stuck on the hound. Okie dokie. Sneaky goblins to funnel on the left. Looks like we want Queen to just naturally walk inside that wall gap for the town hall. Poison spell for the pups. Archer on the right. Sure. Coco Loon going in. <clears throat> Queen gets the bomb tower. She'll step in for the town hall. Looking good so far. Those expos are going to lock on. We're going to have to rage to get through the town hall. We got four freezes still to go. Where are we going to send the riders? This nice simple plan. Riders to the eagle. Where do we need king? Where do we need king? Royal champion with the giant on the left side of the base. Okay. Are we actually going to dragon rider from the top side? We might. Rage the queen again? Nope, we're not. King on the right. Oh, nope, we are. Bro, I can't tell what his plan is. Dragon riders from the top. RC gets locked onto by the single, so we go with the freeze. I think he tried to get the queen in that freeze as well, but kind of missed. Uh oh. King's job is just to go get the eagle. The other single locks onto the queen. We pop warden ability. Dragon riders are pushing through the top side of the base. King taking his time to get to that eagle. Queen might just want to pop ability. We get that single. We raise the dragon riders. We invis queen. Her auto ability goes off. We wall break her. We raise the royal champion with the riders on the top side. They're pushing through. This looks crushed. Queen still alive. We got a freeze on the back end for King to fight enemy King. One more freeze still to go. RC still alive with ability. All the defenses are dead. The base is absolutely deleted. And Tribe Gaming with the perfect war in this match. Impressive performance from them today. Grim is in with the final attack of the match. Little E-Dragon action for us here. Against Rakira's base. Okay. E dragon to funnel the bottom side. Baby dragon on the left. Cool. Warden with the E drags. Battle blimp. Well, that blimp is not going to make it all the way. Oh, bro, that blimp. That blimp. Oh, sweep. Wait. Queen meant to take the town hall? Yeah, I guess so. That blimp in the core really didn't even get any value, did it? Like, you might as well use a stone slammer if you're gonna do that. That's the farm on the right. 
The blimp was for the single, I guess, but it didn't get the single. Queen should at least get the Town Hall. We still got Royal Champion to use. Big old test the farm on the right side of the base. There's probably like 17 Skelly Traps over here as well. But I think he's still looking good. King at full health with ability. Royal Champion still has yet to be deployed. Basically a swag blimp. And it's still going to triple. This is why we love air spam. King gonna make his way over to the right. Do we even need the royal champion? I'm curious to see if he can swagger. Come on, try to swagger. Try to swagger. Ah, he sends her. Dang it. I think it would have worked even without her. Skelly trap pops. We got king ability. We got royal champion. The base is wrecked. The base is wrecked. Queen's still alive. Warden's still alive. All four heroes there. Absolutely demolish these last few defenses, even with all the skelly traps. Jeez. RC can pop her ability. Boom, bada bing, bada bam. We even pop it. Yes, there we go. Down goes the last air defense. It's a triple, but not good enough for his team to win today, as it was a victory for Tribe Gaming. 15 stars to 12, 100%. 90.6.